Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! That's me. Thumbs up! Review stuff! Boom, 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 boom! And I am back for another review. I'm so excited. Today, <laughs> we are going to review the Dairy Queen Cotton. It's a summer of cotton candy over here. We're going to review um, the cotton candy um, uh, blizzard. And I want to give a shout out to two people today. I want to give a shout out to Xander and his mother Nikki. And I want to give a shout out to Andrew and his mother Taylor. Hey Taylor! Hey Andrew! Hey Xander! Hey Nikki! I want to give a shout out to you guys. And um, I am going to go over here and I'm going to review the uh, Cotton Candy Blizzard. And I am sitting right outside of McNamara Florist, which is like Indianapolis's nicest florist. And they have a 50% off sale on all their plants. I'm kind of like wanting to go in there. But anyway, while we're driving over here, I thought that we would <coughs> do a little RuPaul's Drag Race. It is time. The time has come to lip sync for your life. You're simply the best, better than all the rest. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. It looks closed. Are they closed? I know it says open. I was like, I'm going to be so depressed if they are closed. I love the Dairy Queen so much. The one by our house is so packed that I drove over here because I knew oh, it. Oh, Dairy Queen, how may I help you? Um, yeah, can, uh, what size is blizzards? Do they come in? Uh, we have mini, small, medium, and large. Okay, I want to get a small cotton candy blizzard. Yeah, anything else? Um, what's this, this, uh, this misty slush that's like different colors? What is that? Um, it's just like a regular slushy, but it's, we have it in cherry, grape, lemon lime, blue raspberry, kiwi, strawberry. And then we have the mist twist that's like the lemon lime mixed with the blue raspberry separate and then we also can make it in a freeze with the ice cream mixed into it or a float with the ice cream down the middle of the slush. And it's called a misty mist. Uh yeah we have the misty slushes and then like the one with the twist is the mist twist. Okay I want to get a small mist twist. Yeah. In addition to the cotton candy one. Yeah, anything else? No, that's it. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. It's going to be 613. That's the window. Okay. Time. Thank you. So, I have <laughs> so many drinks and things right here. I have <laughs> my water for the day because I'm on a diet. <laughs> Don't you know? I'm doing a food review on a diet. I have my coffee for the day. So, what can I move around here? <laughs> I'm trying to look and see what I can move around so that I can, um, you're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Do you ever just feel like you're on a stage? I feel like I'm on a stage all the time. Okay, put that there. And then we'll put the water here. <laughs> you're simply the best. Better than all the rest. I never read comments for my review channel. I should go in here and read some uh, comments, shouldn't I? <laughs> shouldn't I? You're simply the best. I'm so excited to try this Miss 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 Pissed. Oh my, I'm like a family friendly. I don't know, what was it called? Miss, uh, what did she call it again? I don't know. <laughs> Miss Misty or something. I don't know what she called it. <laughs> but it looks tie-dye, so I'm real excited about it. You're simply the best. Did you guys hear the Noah Reed version that was on Schitt's Creek? It was so fantastic. Um... MJ wants to know, I want to know how your dinner was. Well, my husband was, he got brought it home and he was not very happy about it. He said he wanted Chick-fil-A and I said, uh, babe, Chick-fil-A, and I don't eat chicken, but he said, I said Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays because it's the good Lord Jesus' day. So the Chick-fil-A is closed down because y'all need Jesus. Trust me, okay? If you're watching my channel, you need Jesus and you're like, oh, oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Let me tell you, I went up to a man. He had to be at least 200, maybe 285 pounds, right? Yeah. And I was just approaching him. He literally flew up from his chair and came or his seat, uh -huh. came back down. I said, I am so sorry I scared you. He goes, oh, you didn't scare me. Now, you know I did. <laughs> you know I did. You're in a good mood today. Oh, I'm trying to be there. Thank you. Thank you, darling. So, she was fun, isn't she? She's so fun. So, anyway, Alex, um, he got home. And, and, now, what is this called again? I'm sorry, okay. I won't. Okay, thank you. Okay, it 
just called a twist. Okay, a That's twist. What it says, a twist. All right, yes. thank you. Do you want me to um, put your lid on your blizzard ear? Uh, no, I don't need. Uh, uh, maybe, okay. maybe, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I always say it's better to be safe than sorry. That's right. I say that too. Thank you. One of my favorites is it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. There you go. Yeah, I agree. I like that. One. that I like a, this is cotton candy, right? Yes, it sure is. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, dear. Um. So I had to edit out something that she said, just so you know, because she said she said something and she said, but don't tell anybody here. So I was like, okay, I better edit that part out. But anyway, my husband, he doesn't like Fazoli's. He goes, I told you in the past, I don't like Fazoli's. And I go, okay. So, um, but he felt real bad then because I had, you know, of course, spent the money on the Fazoli's. So at $27. So he ate one of his meat sauces and then he took the other one to work today. He was going to give it to somebody. So apparently this is called the twist. <laughs> The twist. <laughs> it looks really good though, doesn't it? Here's, I'm going to have to, here's the cotton candy blizzard and the twist. All right, let's try the twist first. Wowzer! That looks real pretty. <laughs> Happy tastes good, it says in the back of it. Um... Mmm, that is tart. Now listen, okay? My husband would love this because he loves Sour Patch Kids. He loves the sour candies. I do not love the sour candies. They are too much. Um, it's real sour. It's not bad. Like if you like the sours, you would love this, okay? It tastes, like you can taste like the blue in there, definitely. And it's, you, it tastes kind of sour apple-ish a little bit. Yeah, there's something like, it kind of tastes like a sour apple mixed with like a blue raspberry. It's really good, but it's very, very sour. Oh my God. So here's the first drink. I would actually, I would give this a lot. I, like, I would give it like a 4.8 out of five. But it's really good, but it's very sour. So you have to like the sours. Ooh. <laughs> it's like you bit into a lemon. Let's see what else somebody said on here. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to pick the nice comments. <laughs> There's not very many of them. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh my good Judy Stephanie. Hi hey, Stephanie. She said, I remember Rax. Rax had good shakes. My parents liked the soup and salad bar. Um, so many people commented on the fact that I said about the girl Julie at Perkins that we met, and she, I don't know what her name was. I mean, we met lots of Julies, okay? I want to get a dog so bad and name her Julie, and my husband won't let me. Don't you think that would be such a great name for a dog, though, Julie? But anyway, back in the day, um, we would go to the Perkins. I used to say this, I said this last night in my video, and we would meet people, and they would like, you know, have real black, like, eyeliner and eyelash, or like, eye makeup, you know, and all this kind of, they wouldn't go out in the sun ever, you know, because they had read the Anne Rice books, and decided that they were basically vampires, and then they would say, um, they, oh, and the other thing is, well, I can't really say this, but they would never do non-family, like, you know, romantical stuff, they wouldn't do that, like, if they were dating each other, they just, like, suck on each other's necks and stuff like that, it was real weird, like, anyway, but, uh, we would meet him, and she'd be like, I'm a vampire. And we'd be like, you are! Oh, my God, we totally believed it. And then she would be like, they always had, like, those notebooks, you know, like, those composition notebooks. And they'd be, like, writing, like, their, they were going to write their manifesto of being a vampire. So, anyway. And then we would go to school, and our friends would be like, so what did you guys do this week? Oh, we met this girl. She was a vampire. You wouldn't know her, trust me. You don't know any vampires. But, anyway. Here's the cotton candy blizzard. It doesn't really look as blue. Or as cotton candy. It looks kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. There, can you see it? You're simply the best. Doesn't really have a smell, I guess. This is so good. Oh my God. This is so delicious. So, you can't really see it unless you're really up close. But it has like little, can you hear me chewing on it? Like little bits 
that I think are like little cotton candy bits. <laughs> bits, <laughs> just a bit. Oh my God, this is a straight five out of five. This is so good. And these actually would go together really well. It's like a little bit of sweet, a little bit of sour. Ooh, brain freeze. <laughs> God, it is so sour. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Five out of five. 4.8 out of 5 because I don't like sours. That's what the other two are for. And let me pick one last comment to read on here. Hold on. <laughs> Queen Mary novel writer said she's a vampire. You wouldn't know her. Exactly. You wouldn't. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thanks for um, watching my video. And I will be back tomorrow. Love you. Bye.